All right, and up next, let's work on our dev environment. You see, when it comes to React, it requires more tooling than straight up vanilla JS, where we only need text error and a browser. Now, not to worry, the setup is still extremely straightforward, and you'll only need to do it once. Meaning, once the setup is in place, you will be able to start your React project in a lightning speed. Okay, and let's start with the browser. Yes, since we'll be developing web projects, we do need a browser. I personally use Chrome, but technically it's optional. You'll be able to follow along with a different browser as well. Just keep in mind that here and there, your results might slightly differ. Now, let me be very clear. I'm not saying that your entire project won't work on a different browser. Just keep in mind that each browser has some default presets and therefore the same element, for example, input in different browsers can look slightly different. If you also want to download the Chrome, go to your favorite search engine, which in my case is Google Chrome, type install Google Chrome, click on a link and follow the instructions. All right, and up next we've got text editor. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code, pretty much a standard these days, but just like the browser, you can follow along with a different text editor. The only downside here and there, I will show some nifty ways to speed up our development and you'll have to search for alternative available in your text editor. As far as my configuration, I keep it as close to default as possible, simply because I'm recording content. And as far as my extensions, I'm not going to cover them in this video, since in my opinion, a more solid approach is to showcase what the extension is doing with the actual example. So once we reach a point where one of the extensions becomes useful, I'll stop and explain in detail. And don't worry, you won't need all of these extensions to follow along. And the same goes for settings JSON. I will showcase the code once we actually need to work in the file. Now, just in case you are like super eager to see my config right away, just navigate to my GitHub profile and look for this repo. VS Code Setup 2022. Again, the repo is VS Code Setup 2022. Lastly, if you want to install Visual Studio Code, just navigate to this URL and follow the instructions. Not bad, not bad. And before we install Node.js, let's quickly talk about this scary thing, the terminal or if you use Windows, the command prompt. And first, let's just establish that terminal is simply an alternative way to communicate with our computer. So instead of graphical interface, we just type commands. Also, don't worry, we won't run any dangerous commands in this course, like wiping out the entire file system or anything like that. For the most part, we'll run some basic commands like CD, which stands for changing directory, as well as commands provided by Create React App, a tool which we will install in a few videos. Lastly, throughout the course, I'll also utilize the integrated terminal and Visual Studio Code. Please keep in mind that we can use them interchangeably. Essentially, you'll get the same results. And the only reason why I prefer integrated terminal and Visual Studio Code is simply because it right away points to the existing project. Effectively, it requires less work. And up next, let's install Node.js on our machine. Now, if you're not familiar with Node.js, it's a cross-platform JavaScript runtime environment, which allows us to build fast and scalable network applications. If you wanna check whether the node is already present on your machine, 
just navigate back to the terminal and type node hyphen hyphen version or dash dash version. Again, the command is node hyphen hyphen version. Press return. And if it returns some numbers, you're good to go. However, if it returns something along the lines of command not found, please continue with the video. Now, in order to install a brand new node instance, we need to navigate to this URL, nodejs.org, or you can simply go to your search engine, type install node, and most likely this is going to be the first link. But again, the URL is nodejs.org it will right away detect which operating system you're using. And in my case, that is Mac. And I highly, 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 highly recommend installing the LTS version instead of the current one. Again, I recommend installing the LTS version since that way there's a smaller chance you'll have to chase some weird bugs. You see, we will use some external libraries and it takes some time for those libraries to catch up with the node versions as well. So if you go with LTS, which is a stable version, there's a higher chance library or a package will work without any issues, which can't be said about the current version. At the time of this recording, the latest LTS version is 1812. But of course, since you're watching this in the future, your number most likely will be different. It will be higher. With that said, let me emphasize something. Just because you're using different node version, most likely a newer node version, does not mean, does not mean that the course content is old or invalid. Effectively, we only use node to run our React app. Basically, we'll use Node to create a new React app instance. So newer or older Node version does not affect our code. Again, let me be very clear. And the reason why I'm being so annoying because I get these questions in Q&A, so I just want to address them here. And if by any chance a newer Node version will introduce some breaking changes to our entire setup, rest assured, I will update the course content. So again, download the LTS version, follow the instructions, and once the install is complete, type again in the terminal node dash dash version. Again, the command is node dash dash and version. And if everything is correct, you'll see the node version. However, if you get the error, please utilize your search engine and troubleshoot the issue since you won't be able to follow along with the upcoming videos.